Hey, this is Asbog the Gaming Orc, and I'm going to start teaching you how not to be such a petty little goblin with your UI and how you to be a big black orc instead. I'm going to show you the add ons and stuff I use to actually improve World of Warcraft. I've made videos like this in the past with my Warlock and Legion, but this is for Battle for Azeroth, and I've also got some more add ons. I've leveled up this character from level 20 because he's a allied race, so there's gonna be some add-ons in there in here as well. They're gonna talk about leveling up and just some useful add-ons. I'm gonna just cover some of the big add-ons that are just gonna help out with the general UI. How I think I think people are perceive the game a little bit. So I'm gonna just identify them by going to my add-ons list here. I'm gonna scroll down. The first one I'm, I use is called Threat Plates. Threat Plates is the one where I select over and I see stuff over their head. And I think this also gives a little icon above their head. And this helps me when I'm playing my Shaman or my sh my uh, even a Warlock with the Fell Hunter out, where you can actively purge or dispel buffs, and you can see what buffs your opponent has. That's always really helpful. The next one I like to use is called Shadow Unit Frames. Shadow Unit Frames is how I move my personal one that would be way up here in the corner all the way down here to my right when I want to see my opponent. It's right here instead of way up in the top left. I mean, granted, I see it above his, uh, on the nameplate essentially, uh, his HP bar, but I get a lot more information like his HP and mana, which I cannot really see from this. It gives me more information. I can always reliably look there. So if, he, like, if I lose line of sight of him or he, I get stunned and he runs away, I can always see what his health and I have him targeted, right? And so if I target myself, I can also see my target, target of target. How I access shadow, shadow unit frames, I type, type in forward slash SUF. And there we go. Now you're not being such a silly little goblin now. You're being like Asbog, the big orc. And here we go. We go to unit configuration. I can change thing, target of target. I can move all these frames around. I can enable certain units I want to label. And the same thing goes for, um, I think the shadow, uh, the threat plates, deals with what in your interface options over the nameplates you're looking at. So those are the two biggies really that people are kind of always asking about. I think that are really good. The rest of this is really good. Another one, another major one I've just started to use, I think that helps clean up the UI, removes that art at the bottom is called bartender. Now I haven't even really taken bartender to the next level and like really cleaned it up and maybe even removed a lot of these bars. Like, do I really need to have lightning bolt visible or some of these abilities visible? No, like all these are bound. All these uh, abilities right here are bound to my keys so I can actually remove all of them. And that's with bartender. I'll show you where that is. It starts with B, bartender four. Let's go through the rest of these. These are all really good add-ons as well. Some of them, like I said, are for good for leveling or leveling up an alt. And one of those is being altaholic. And that helps you out with uh, all kinds of issues, helps you auto uh, select quests. And some of that's also with, uh, um, what is it? Um, Azeroth Autopilot, I think it is called, or Autopilot. Yeah, Azeroth Autopilot right here. That one really helps as well. So these two together with the alt, and also you can see what how many items a certain character has and all that stuff is really useful. Announce interrupts is another really good one um, for when you interrupt a target. It'll actually say it out loud. So it's good for PV, PvP and PvE. You can actually just announce it to the party and you can customize a little bit more. Right now I have it just where it visibly announces it. But also says, hey, this in PVE especially, there's so many abilities. As I was leveling up, one thing I noticed is above the target, if their cast bar above their target is sort of hexed out or hashed out, that means you can't interrupt it. But if it's not, if it's just a solid bar, um, even on like a lot of like boss encounters, like you'd be surprised how much you can interrupt. And then when you announce it, everybody kind of knows it that maybe didn't know it. Auctioneer, that's for, uh, see, a lightweight add-on that makes it easy and fast to buy, sell, and manage auctions. This is a really good add-on if you, again, doing anything with the marketplace. I'm not a big market guy because i just not. I'm in the PvP and, like, some PvE. I don't really do professions or anything like that. Auto Loot Plus is a pretty much a must-have item uh, for PvE when you need a loot 
a corpse, you can just touch the corpse and it automatically loots it. And unfortunately, Blizzard really hasn't implemented it, but with their pet system that they have, like you could, in a BDO, they have pets where auto loot for you. So you don't even need to go through the looting process. The pet will actually go touch the mob and loot it for you. And I wish uh, Blizzard would implement that. And um, in BDO, they actually charge money for that in the uh, their, in their store. Azeroth Autopilot, really good. Skips cutscenes. Does it kind of skips through the story? It speeds up the game when you're leveling if you don't really care about the story too much. Let's and personally, let's face it, Blizzard's story is about as rancid as a Hobbit. So, Bartender Four, I just talked about that. That's the thing that cleans up all my bars. I can move it, remove the artwork, congest these things. A lot of downloads on that as well. Battleground Enemies is a great add-on for PvP. It has the two frames on the side that allows me to see my enemies and uh, that really helps so I can say okay who's on the enemy team what classes are they etc so it works for a random BG's ranked battlegrounds very good data store I have no idea what this actually does I could probably remove it but I think it keeps a lot of information details is a really interesting one that's similar to SCADA and recount but I think it's actually becoming the new up-and-coming um, analysis tool for your damage and it helps, it's just a cleaner, more sleeker version of SCADA, I think. And it has a lot more information and it keeps it all together. And you see there's just a ton of information. I think even if you're a Twitch streamer or a YouTuber, there's a lot of information you can keep in there. Doom Shards was a add-on I used for my Warlock. And uh, I don't really use it that more, much more. I think it's out of date, but it helps track my Soul Shards, which is really nice. Uh, Drainer Treasures was one of these things that helps identify all the little elite mobs and treasure chests throughout um, BFA. So that's a nice little PvE add-on. Gladius is a must-have add-on for Arena. That's how you can announce what enemy classes are there. When an enemy gets low, your character, you'll have a party thing that'll pop up, and that's pretty good. Healers Have to Die is a great add-on, especially for Battlegrounds where if a target essentially heals enough, they become a healing, they're marked as a healing class. Like if their healing increases to a certain amount, it puts a little circle, like a little um, Swiss Army knife, says you, Swiss Army symbol, like you humans call it, and identifies the player as a healer that you want to kill, right? You want to go smash their face in. Handy notes. Um, again, something with Drain Eye Treasures helps out um, labeling the notes. And I think if another person in your guild sees it or someone on your friends list sees an elite mob out in, in BFA, it'll spawn for you. Heed's DPS mod is another just DPS mod. No big deal. Combo bar is, again, like Doom Shards and so forth. For um, It's also really useful for rogues. Omni CC, very useful for uh, your bars. To actually put a timer over it and it's an essential add-on for um, weak auras which is another big one and i should have covered that in the beginning as well pawn is another one pawn calculates stores items that lets you easily track which one is better let me just show you what that does if i go over here to my bag and then you can see in my bag i only have one slot thanks to bartender there and then i go to my highlight over these boots here, you'll see at the very bottom, this is from Enhancement, which is my particular spec. It says if I actually, this is an 8% upgrade, if I actually swap this item on. And the reason being, if I hold Shift down to compare it to my current item, the this item actually has a socket, socket, a prismatic socket. So even though it's lower item level, it's actually telling it through this uh, add-on, which is very nice, called Pawn. Quartz is great for your cast bar. It's really good for if you're a caster too. Um, to kind of customize the cast bar and make it look unique and interesting. Raider IO Mythic Plus is a really good add-on for Mythic Plus Raiders or Mythic Plus PVEers. It can identify a your Mythic Plus score. It ties into their database and using all the logs that I think people get from DBM and I don't know other add-ons sync into the website on the back end. So Raider IO, you can highlight over it, and so you can see if I hover over my character, my Raider IO, it's up, updated daily. It's 271, and I think it, what it does, it keeps track of all your scores of all the dungeons you've done. So say you have, um, you only, it also keeps track of the dungeons you do over plus 10, um, 10 to 15 keys, plus 10 to plus 15 keys. 
So the really high end raiders use this. And it's a way for you to, if you like your, I have a plus seven key right now, so I use this add on. And if someone's not ranked, if I hover over their name and they're not ranked, I don't accept, accept them into the group. It also tells you um, what's the highest level plus they've done for that particular dungeon as well. So it not only gives you a score, um, which you can judge. So like if you're in the low 100s right now, you're pretty bad uh, for mythic rating. At least, mythic, um, not mythic rating, but mythic dungeons. I uh, talked about shadow unit frames, talked about threat plates, and then the other one I should have talked about, and I'm going to just talk about uh, deadly boss mods. This is pretty much a must have for any PvE or, or anybody doing raid content. It just helps you out, sends you out alerts, and everything like that. So it's pretty self explanatory. Um, and also, the guy who's programmed this is actually kind of in dire straits, like most humans. He's challenged, he's got like some bad teeth or something. He has a Patreon. I'll try to link it in the description below. He kind of needs some help. He's fallen on some dark times, and but the uh, the mod itself is essential, basically World of Warcraft, and and so it's really hopeful that he keeps doing. It. And this is stuff that didn't exist in vanilla. Weak Wars is a really important add-on that I use to basically, if you want to, essentially what it can do is replace all your bars. What do I mean by that? So if I target this training them and I hit just an ability. If I go like this and I hit another ability, well, it makes it so I can easily, this bar will pop up but when I'm in combat, and then this will actually keep the Omni CC is what leaves the timer, but it actually congests sort of all my abilities that would be on my bar here. Here's my number one bar, and I actually could remove this bar if I wanted to, and uh, so, but it actually pops it up so I can clean up the UI even more free it up. I could actually lower it down so I'm not cutting off my character's legs, but I like to just see, you know, I'm actually zoomed out most of the time to like max, so it kind of fits my character correctly. This weak auras app, um, I just imported the string and I talk about that in my other videos, where if you want to know a little bit more about weak auras and how to program this in, but now uh, Wowhead has become so proficient with weak auras, I just copied this whole, I imported this whole string and, and this is perfect for enhancement shamans. I haven't changed it at all and it just works really well. It doesn't have all the abilities, like I put my bloodlust ability there, but it does a really good job. That's it, human. Or should I say Tark? Like, subscribe, comment. Hope this video helped you out. See you in the next chapter.